Hey guys, it's Jonah here, and I'm back with a beer review, and we are back doing some beer 52 beers, um, and that means we are back in Holland, um, which is called all the Netherlands, I should say, because as we all know, Holland's a country, but the Netherlands is like a conglomerate, because there are more than one country in the Netherlands. Did you know that? Okay, so <laughs> this, this brewery, as you can see from down here, down there, it's called Oedipus. And when I heard that I was going to be reviewing a beer from a brewery called Oedipus, you know what the first thing that I thought was? Motherfucker. Um, and this one's called Bolamore, it's a mango sour at 5%. And look at that, it is proper trip out. Um, and if we look here, it's an orgy of Berliner Weiss, pale ale, and mango. Mango mofo. So, yeah, it's a Berliner Weiss um, style of beer with pale ale, American hops, and I'll come to that in a minute. And mango, which has kind of soured the whole thing. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, if we look in here at the spider diagram, we have got quite a hoppy beer, a very fruity beer. And then if we look down here, we've got some hops, which are Citra Mosaic, Amarillo and Simcoe. Um, from Amsterdam, so definitely Holland. And I believe the one thing that makes this a Berlin advice, obviously is the malt bill, but also I suspect the yeast that they've used as well. <sighs> I haven't even started drinking yet. Oh, the other thing is, look at that, Oedipus. It's pretty trippy. Probably won't focus, but uh, oh, there we go. It's got their logo, and I do have Another beer um, from Oedipus. So this is continuing my uh, two, two beers at least, sometimes three, sometimes a few more. Um, but yeah, I like to do a few, a few and link them together somehow. Oh, wow, that smells proper hoppy. I have to say, it does not look, coming from the bottle, that much. It doesn't actually look too much, too hazy. I mean, you can see through there. That doesn't really look like a Berliner Weiss to me. It's, um, it's not milky enough. Um, Head-wise, a bit lacking too. Nice white head, but... Probably, what, a quarter of a finger? Something along those lines. Now this is where things are really gonna shine, I think. <laughs> it is all a bit confused. I'm getting a lot of yeasty kind of aroma, which is weird, but I'm definitely getting tropical fruits, including mango, which you'll be pleasantly surprised. But I'm definitely getting kind of orangey kind of thing going on. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting. And I hope it's not too sour. Um, let's have a look. What did we say? Citra. Okay, fair enough. Amarillo, Mosaic, Simcoe. Cool. So a bit of the oranges, a bit of the mango, because it's got mango in. A bit of pine and greenness, but... I I wasn't really getting that on the nose. Cheers and beers, my friends. Oh. Well, nice and crisp up front, then followed by that sourness. But it's not that sour. There's not a residual sourness. And then we're kind of going into 
What I'm mainly getting is kind of blood orange, which I guess is the Simcoe. Mm. Not too much pine and greenery. Maybe, maybe a bit of the orange from the Amarillo, which is that what I usually call marmalade. The tropicalness and the pineness, not getting that so far. Dive back in. Wow. Yeah, really crisp, really clean. Maybe I'm getting a little bit of the pine up front. Then it goes into the mango, the sourness. And then on the finish, there, yeah, there's a bit of tropicalness. <sighs> Pineapple, probably that kind of thing in there. And then there's the orange, right? It's sort of near the tail end of things. So perhaps the pine is more up front, which would kind of make sense. This is a really interesting beer, not as sour as I thought it was going to be, which I don't know how I feel because I really like sour, beer, uh, sour beers that make you, uh, your face can contort, shall we say. However, um, I also like quite hoppy beers and the pale ales and stuff. And that yeast is definitely doing something in there. Um, that kind of vice kind of thing, even though I'm not getting any sort of yeasty, uh, yeah, yeasty fennels. Oh, wow. Another belch. Sorry, I, I do apologise always with my, my belching. But um, unfortunately, that is the beer reviewers want. Um, a lot of belching and stuff. Now, yes, while I'm chatting shit, as I usually do, uh, yeah, I got some good news. I think I am going to the GBBF on the trade day this year. I put my name in the hat um, for some tickets, which are essentially free, which is brilliant. Um, but you have to prove um, that you are, you know, in the industry, in the trade. Um, wow. Well, and I put my name down as beer reviewer because that is what I am. So please, please click like on this video to, uh, to prove to the G. BBF that I'm getting uh, people watching my videos, which is always a really fantastic thing. Um, and essentially that means I will be going this year, uh, which also is on my birthday, which is the 2nd of August. So you can all wish me a happy birthday nearer the time. Um, and also I really hope that I am gonna meet up with some of my pals who are professional brewers, um, including Harry. I'm not sure if Harry Brew is going there. So if you're watching this, Harry, uh, let me know, brother. Um, but also Andrew uh, from Watson Brewery. Um, hopefully they'll be going down too. Um, and maybe people from, uh, yeah, Gaz perhaps, although I don't know them that well. Um, Shivering Sands as well, new brewery that I met uh, a couple of years ago at our local camera um yeah, it was our, our camera AGM, which was weird. Oh, yes, and North Down Brewery as well. Johnny and um, his lovely other half. Hopefully, they'll be there too. So uh, if you guys are there, I will be there too. If you fancy meeting up, I'm probably going to be doing some videos. Um, has to be done when you're at a beer festival. Um, it is, it gets a bit messy, especially when you've got like a thousand beers or maybe even 2000 beers potential that you could try. There's no way you can drink them all. Cheers and beers. Oh, what will the beer of the year be? Um, bearing in mind it's a cask uh, festival usually, although they've been getting into poly pins and things like that. Um, of late, so maybe, you know, Tiny Rebel, North Down, you never know, they're pretty doing pretty well. Or someone along those lines, Vocation, Siren, all the big hitters. Um, yeah, come on. Anyway, guys.
Oh, I am going to sit down on my sofa and tell me about your mother, um, Oedipus. This was a very, very nice beer. I'm actually looking forward to the beer that I'm going to be trying tomorrow. That's not a sour beer. Um, but I think some of these new breweries are really, really doing well. Guys, cheers and beers. Don't forget to click like down below. That will really help me out um, if you do that. And we'll see you tomorrow for more beer reviews, more Uncle John, a complete wrongness. And um, yeah, all sorts of crazy stuff. <laughs> cheers and beers, guys. We'll see you real soon.